I think it's time that the tortured and torturous relationship I have had with my younger brother Bong Bong should be told. As most things in my family, it all began with my dad, who announced to all and sundry in his big baritone voice that he was going to have a firstborn son, Sundalo, ang magiging kauna-unahang anak ni Apo Congressman. Ang problema, ako yung lumabas. And for an immensely brilliant man, he seemed supremely dense in refusing to believe that I'm a girl eh. So yun yung problema ng una. Bong Bong finally appeared. The most adorable, giggly, chubby baby you can imagine. And true enough, my father was over the moon until he had to leave for a UN event somewhere. They put the baby beside them on top of pillows so that they could spend every last second with this adorable little bundle. My mom was hovering all over him. Eh, nung nag empaki sila, ewan ko kung ano nangyari. Nasa giba? Ano ba? Bakit nabundol yung una na hulog at yung baby si Bongbong nasa sahig? My father was so upset. Galit na galit. My mom glared at me and said, you didn't push him, did you? And of course I said, no, I didn't even go near. But my dad, making certain he to defend and protect his son, brought the baby to the hospital for the duration of their visit to make sure he would be safe. Ayan. Ang susunod na kabanata, e eh, birthday na, birthday na ng daddy ko. Some huge birthday with Bong Bong turning three or something in the next two days. And everyone, as usual, was invited. All the big leaders from everywhere. All the VVIPs, all the hot shots, everyone was there. And there was gonna be this huge um, waterfall thing. And I was so excited being the producer impresario that I am with all these thespian delusions there was going to be this highly cinematic waterfall the cake and then we would sing and all this drama the problem was Bong Bong decided to get involved and then he started pulling all the pumps turning on all the switches and just when the cake and the happy birthday was to begin he falls into the waterfall. Everyone was laughing. I was like, Nakakahiya! Ano ba yung batang yan? Inis na inis ako. I was so angry. I hate that little brother. He does nothing but embarrass us. And this went on for years. We're fighting and arguing and non-stop pulling of books and pillows and who knows what. But in the end, there have been so many years that have passed. My one and only partner in politics, ang tanging nagtsatsaga, si Bongbong pa rin. Anjan kaming dalawa na eto nga, life is hard, it is brutish. And I can say, after all these years, Bong Bong, I forgive you. I forgive you for being a boy. Salamat naman for taking off the pressure from me. I forgive you also for falling down in that waterfall and embarrassing all of us, your father, your mother, and me most of all, the producer of that event. In fact, after all these years, ang tanging masasabi ko na lang, thank you very much, Bonget, for all the pain and heartbreak that you have taken for having that god-awful name, Junior. How you ever lived with that, I will never know. Thank you also for all the difficulties, the sacrifice that you have taken on the chin for this family, for all of us, including me. Maraming salamat. Babalik ang karen ng grasya, ng pasasalamat, at mula sa amin, buong buo, pagmamahal. I love you dearly. For you, Bonget, happy, happy